Hello everyone, today I'm going to be doing a video on the top 30 um, favourite games of 2018 to 2019. This is on my Xbox One and I have obviously played quite a lot of games in the past year and I'm just going to compile the last, uh, well the best 30. We're going to start off on obviously number 30 and then make our way up to number 1. A lot of these games are indie games, which if you haven't heard of them, they're basically just like off new companies, I guess, well game creators, and they're just like kind of very basic games. Game so the first one we're going to be talking about is a game called Explosion. Um, it's basically just like a, a, a 2D over. kind of game where you just no kind of gun. shoot at these game other enemies. I'm very, very, very bad at this game. I'm not going to... Anyway, I just think there's just game too much over. going on. Laser I just need to try and uh, shoot at the other um, enemies and try and kill them. Kill, kill, kill as many as you can, at least. Which I'm just very, very bad at. But it was still a fun game. Game uh, this one is actually made by the same uh, team of producer, um, Super Dextronaut DX, and um, this one was actually actually really good. A lot of these games, by the way, are like very great, which is complicated, and uh, that's normally not a good thing, but this one was very, very fast to complete, so it was actually a pretty good game, which is a basic kind of like game where you're just trying to shoot the people around it, and to do like different, um, Things try and kill you. And graphics of it, well not really graphics, like the way the game acted, the hitboxes of the enemies was not precise in any way. Um, you don't even hit the enemy and they, it just it detects that you got killed. Now this one is Tetris Escape. Um, this one was, well it, it does look a little bit, um, I guess, uh, what's the word to describe it? It just it doesn't look as good as like all the other games, but it was actually a little bit fun. Obviously, it's it's very very basic. It's one of them very basic games. You collect three stars in the level and then you just progress. But eventually, it does get a little bit more difficult, and that's when the fun actually uh, comes in because it's a puzzle game. And. Uh, um, Anyway, either way, I think I was kind of contemplating which one to put first, the Path of Mortis or the other one. Um, but this one, it's, it's, it's a full storyline and you just uh, have to kill these people. And you can see like different um, buttons flashing up on the screen. And you have to kind of put it in, in a certain code and stuff. There's lots of secrets in this game, so I would, you know, if you want to complete it, you know, you can do that. Storm Boy, very, very um, easy to like complete. It's, it only takes about half an hour to complete, um, and it was actually kind of a fun experience because the actual um, things in this storyline 
was quite fun to do. It was, some of them were like didn't really work, but at the same time, um, it was very very basic. The things which I had to do when they in this game. Okay, now number twenty one, Gnomes Garden series. Um, uh, this is actually like, a full series. It's like four games. Um, called Gnomes Garden. Gnomes Garden 1, 2, 3 and 4. I don't know what the actual names of them actually are, but there's four different games of it. And um, basically, it, it it's as simple as a game can get. You get materials and you can build things, and that actually helps you try and complete the levels by um, getting other items um, throughout the level. Um, so it's, it's, it's one of them games where it's just, you know, um, very, very basic and all that. Mega Nika, I actually haven't completed this game yet, but what I have played of it, it is pretty fun. Um, as you can see, I'm in, in, I'm in the uh, actual starting area, but I have progressed a little bit more throughout the game. Um, I haven't just done the starting part, I have done a little bit more, but it is quite fun. Um, and it also one of them ones where you can complete it very, very quickly. Uh, here's Shadow of, of Loot Box. This is a this is a game which will take a long time to complete. There's like 20 levels or something, and as you can see on the screen right there, um, there's lots of different tiers you unlock, and eventually once you get all the tiers, you'll basically have all the power and all that to like do everything in the game basically. So eventually you're just progressing throughout the game and tiering up, and you'll be able to get more and more stuff to actually progress even further. So that basically means like jumping and um, sprinting and all that stuff, which you get at the very very start. Twin Robots Ultimate Edition, basically, um, you control two different characters and you try and, you try and make your way through this, this the different stages. Um, the tiles on the floor you can actually um, stand over and it counts towards your power. Because you control two robots, um, it takes up a little bit of power when you are controlling them. So you need to kind of watch out for that, and at the very very end, you need to put a little bit of power into the um, the the this energy supply thing at the at the end. Uh, Midnight Deluxe. This is just once again they like, kind of kind of a bit of like a Flappy Bird type of game, you know. I mean, not Flappy Bird. I'm Angry Birds. Sorry, Angry Birds type of game where you just have to like aim you you kind of character thing and try and make it into the hole over there instead of obviously the pigs or whatever if it if went into the angry bird sense very basic game but you know once again Donut County I have I haven't completed this game fully but it is very very fun I actually um, it, um from, from what I've actually played it is a uh, it's pretty good so um, I would actually suggest this game if you're going to get any of the ones on this list this will probably be one of the ones which I'll get from what on the indie games. Um, at this point onwards, I think it's more into like the non-indie games, like that actually get into like the, the more played ones from the companies. Like this is the Moose Man and it's one of the side scrolling games which is like you have to collect a lot of these collectibles. This is one of the collectibles here. Um and it's quite as you can see here's all the collectibles on my menu here which I've collected so far. There's quite a lot of them. Um, and it's just one of them games where you just side scroll along the, along the game, and it's just yeah, you're collecting all these um, different collectibles, and eventually you just complete the game. Very boring, but it's better than a lot of these the games on this list. Uh, Dual God Crime City. This is um, one of them like kind of element combiners where you have to like combine like mobile elements to make others, and then you use them to combine with other things, and. Um, you just make other other things with them, um, and it, it actually tells a story with it. If you play the actual campaign of, of the game, and it's it was a, a good experience, I guess. Rising in Sand is one of my favorite games um, in 2018. Um, when I played this game, it was obviously very very confusing when when you play it. Um, but it was very, it was really, really fun. It is another one of them games which you can complete very, very quickly. Despite the story being um, like really good, it is one of them games which you can complete in about an hour or so. Um, Trash Bandicoot and Scene Trilogy. This is a game which I rage a hell ton on. 
So out of all the games on this list, I would not suggest this one because you will rage. It is one of them games designed to make you rage. Uh, so I wouldn't suggest it, but it was pretty fun at the same time. So yeah, I'm. Don't really have much more to say about this game simply because it's it's it is a trilogy. It's multiple games in that. So there's three different games within it. Um, Cubot. This is uh, one of the most basic games if you know all the answers because I have done a 100% achievement um, guide on this game on my gaming channel and it's literally like if you have all the, the answers to all the different puzzles you can complete this game in about not even an hour if you really like want to but it's, at the same time it's very boring and very repetitive. Uh, Chroma Gun, a basic portal um, not rip off but like I guess kind of the, it's inspired by Portal this game and you just you use this gun chroma gun where you can shoot yeah. different colors on a different yeah. surfaces yeah. and different um, items yeah, and once you've done that the, the colors of the different things combine together so you can basically move these like objects around the, the, the world in order to like progress it's very very difficult to explain all these. Assemblance, this is a very confusing game. You go like three different, or four different, or four different um, areas, areas and you see that for this one it's a, in a room and they can do different things as you can see right here, 2.13, now the clock says, and uh, you zoom in on different things and it changes the surroundings around you. Um, so now you can see Assemblance Oversight, this is Assemblance 2 basically, it's uh, the second edition to Assemblance and this one's actually been my favourite one out of the two. Have you explored them um, for accuracy? And it's just the same basic thing, you just go through the game and there's quite a lot, you need to learn about the areas in different ways, like you, you go to different areas of the, the map, as you can see here there's someone dead right here, so uh, at a point in the game you look at that person, and at a different point, there's like a butterfly there and all that stuff. So it's just different ways to progress. Transference. This is um, another confusing game. Uh, lots of these games are confusing um, because eventually um, a lot of the a lot of the map actually becomes very corrupt because I don't know why. I don't know the actual story behind it, but a lot of the map just becomes corrupt. I didn't quite follow the story when I was playing this. But it was very, very fun and a little bit scary <laughs> when you played it. Uh, the Gardens Between, this is a very recent game and quite fun as well the concept around it because basically it's, uh, you control two characters and you go around this this 3D plane and you, all, you, all you are controlling is the time at which they are moving. So if you go backwards in time, they're walking backwards. If you go forwards in time, they move forwards. And depending on what you do, change the surroundings, and then you can walk backwards in time to then change it again. Uh, White Noise 2, this is a scary-ish game, which I've been playing uh, recently once again. And yeah, it's, just, it's, it's a multiplayer game, a lot like Slender. So I would actually suggest you get this game as well because it is very very fun to play with friends and there's hardly anyone actually playing this game now from what there was before. Obviously, you know, you would probably ad admittedly see Fortnite somewhere on this video but here it is, I put it at number 4 because recently I've just been like kind of not really been interested in Fortnite. Last year, I think it was number 1 on my list but um, now I'm just like... I really don't want to hear about Fortnite, but yeah, um, that's just me personally, just simply because I'm, I'm, I'm over it now. Uh, number three, Red Dead Redemption 2. This is slowly becoming one of my favourite games, simply because of how many people are actually playing it. Out of my friends, literally just yesterday I had like a party of like nine or ten people playing Red Dead Redemption at the exact same time, which is just so funny. Um, because obviously you can make a massive posse and you can just go fight other posses and um, it's just really really fun and I'm assuming they're going to be updating the game quite often as well. Human Fall Flat, a series which I've done um, a long time ago with uh, Liam, 
Uh, it's actually a really good game. There will be a, will, will be, me and Liam will be playing a Portal 2 very, very shortly. Push every um, so be on the lookout for that. But this game was basically almost an introduction to uh, puzzle games for uh, Liam, which was very, very fun. Obviously, multiplayer puzzle, puzzle games. So Portal 2 would be very, very fun because it's not really similar, but it's got a similar concept of like, you know. Of course, you know, Minecraft um, Bedrock Edition is number one. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, Call of Duty Black Ops 4. Um, yeah. You've seen it coming. Um, Black Ops 4. I've been playing it a lot. I, I just, I, for some reason, I just feel that Black Ops 4 is just that game for me. Um, I know I didn't have Black Ops 3 anywhere in this list, but I just wanted to talk about games which I've mostly been playing this year, which are new. Not really that you know, Black Ops 3 and all that, but um, Black Ops 4 is, is one of my favorite game for 20. Top 30 favorite games in 2018. I hope you guys did enjoy um, the video, and basically, uh, I hope that 2019 brings along a lot of good games. Not too sure about what the Call of Duty will be this year, but I hope it will be very, very good. And I see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye for now.